to Space Chick Crypto. My name is Elizabeth Howard and I am super excited to tell y'all what has been going on lately with MMAI, our attendance at Medicon 2023. We're going to check that out. I'm going to let y'all know how that went and I'm super impressed with what our booth looked like. It was the biggest booth at Medicon. Let me show you a little clip from Ozim Austin's video, his live stream that he did the other day. We so much appreciate that he did that. I'm going to leave that link in the description box below along with my links and of course all the official MMAI links will be down there as well. All right, everybody, let's check out how Metacon week was for MMAI and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video if you haven't already. All right, everybody, let's check it out right now. Some of my earlier videos, you'll see that the president of South Korea went to NS Labs. That was a big deal because he went himself. He didn't send a proxy and he was super impressed by what he saw with NS Labs, who is actually partnered with MMAI. That's why I bring up NS Labs. Well, the president went there and then all of a sudden, next in the timeline for MMAI, MMAI and NS Labs California headquarters unveiling event. They set up headquarters here in the US on Saturday on May 13th of this year. Then we have the largest booth at Medicon, Asia's most renowned NFT festival, uh, Web3 festival, Metaverse festival. So many people were out there. 2.5K attendees it says, 80 plus speakers, 25 plus countries. 40 plus sessions and 25 plus exhibitors. Now the speakers are definitely some people that are very well known in the space. Pretty much every single person on this panel, I'm just joking, every single person on this panel is very well known. I mean, the COO from Sandbox, we're gonna get to that here right now. We're gonna go ahead and talk about that. It says MMAI Pure Metaverse team talking with members from the Sandbox Korea team. Now that piqued my interest like none other. I said, er, Sandbox, wait a second, what is going on? Because Sandbox, if you check out CoinMarketCap, they're sitting at number 52 on CoinMarketCap in the past 24 hours. They are up 5.84%. Sandbox is definitely nothing to be ignored. You can see right here the Korean uh, team. Well, that's the same as, you know, the sandbox that we're checking out here. If you have that question, uh, yes, it's the same, same project. Just to let you know, Warner Music Group, so, so much going on with sandbox. If we were talking to sandbox, that just adds to the list of the people that we are having dealings with. If you check out my other videos, I have talked about Qualcomm, their chips that we will probably might be using according to Andrew on one of his Twitter spaces. But Sandbox Korea, super excited about that. Now this is the video that, this is the live stream actually, that we're gonna check out. So I'm gonna leave this link in the description box below. This Medicon is in South Korea and I am super excited that Ozim Austin did this for us. Let's check out what MMAI booth looked like, and let's find out a little bit more about the Pure Wallet here right now. Here we go. So obviously this is our booth right here. And you can see, I mean, it's, uh, again, there's not a lot of people here yet. Uh, usually uh, probably about another hour. You can see it's roughly, what, 10, 33. So about another hour, we'll probably get a lot more people in here. But uh, here's Augie right here. Augie, you can say hello. Uh, here's the team. Obviously, you got Dr. Kim right here, but um, and let me uh, see if I can pull up the comments here real quick, uh, real quick too. Make sure we hear you. Okay, good job. So yeah, you can see right there. And you can see here's the game. Yeah, there's some new updates. The cool thing here is that also with this new update to the metaverse, you can see, oh, you can see um, uh, all the, the stores. They've updated a lot of the stores, so you can actually see where it says your store's here. And when they go in that store right there, you can actually see if you own a store from your NFT, this is what one of the build-out looks like when you get your store here. So 
again, a lot of these uh, stores, there's different different kinds of stores out there, and, and you can see all the advertising out here. Look at the billboards. I know Dr. Crypto's in the space right now, pissed that he did not get an electronical billboard based off of what we're seeing here. Look at all the electronical billboards out there. <laughs> and then we got obviously our MMAI casino over there, which is where the game is located. So um, when they go into the casino, you'll, you'll actually go to the game center. So inside this right here, he's gonna go inside. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna go through this loading. And then inside there, you have the, you have the, just for the fun, they do the little slot machine game. <laughs> got the MMAI slots up in here we I know dr. crypto is gonna be all over this he's gonna be he's gonna be in here like a degenerate gambler <laughs> uh, that's so funny and then uh, yeah and then there's the, the game section so across the hall here you'll see he's gonna go and there's the the MMAI game as well there's the bar it's pretty legit looks good dude cashier and then there's the game center right here you just go on here and then you can actually select from the games now <laughs> so yeah so we'll enter into the game here and like i said they they uh, obviously built the first one which was the container where the containers were and then now they're going into the second one which is the outpost base right here and you'll see that the, now we'll be able to select from a different set of guns um yeah, that one. So here's the, he's going to play the outpost game here. And uh, you can see now there's a selection of guns over here. There he goes, dude. It's pretty sweet, man. Hey, what's up, that guy? Good to see you, buddy. This is a business trip. You're not supposed to be drinking and gambling. <laughs> what's up, MK? Good to see you, buddy. Dude, that is so much better than I expected. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, so here he's going to enter into the game now. And so we're going to open this up for everyone. Uh, so come so come uh, July, sometime in July here, everyone's going to be able to access this. It's not going to have to be an NFT holder feature of the wallet here, as you guys can see right here. So here's the new way it looks right here. This is the new interface right here. So you, got, uh, you open it up, and this is the wallet right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's the wallet. You got your online wallet, which is your hot wallet. You got your offline wallet right here, which is your, um, this is your offline wallet, which means that uh, anything in here, if you lose your wallet, this is not recoverable. And then right down here is your cold wallet. Um, before, this is already a purchased cold wallet, uh, but you, right here at this, it'll say, you know, tr uh, open up or uh, purchase cold wallet. And you'll click on that and you'll actually make your purchase. But here's the, here's the layout of our wallet now, which is really, really cool. Uh, another positive thing is up here. Click on this bad boy right there. And now you can make multiple wallets. So there's multi out of wallets. You can have multiple wallets in here. Both come with their own cold storage as well. So that's a positive thing there. Um, and then again, obviously you have your security features up here. Everything is two factor authentication in there. So um, two FA for almost everything. But uh, again, this is just a quick layout. You have your swap function down here. So obviously we have a swap now to where um, you can swap inside the phone for certain uh, cryptocurrencies that we're supporting. And then right down here where it says buy crypto, obviously this connects to transact. And then you can actually buy your crypto inside transact, which will go directly to here, just like we've had before. Um, but again, the big feature right here is the, the cold storage function, right? So here it is right here. Um, and then you can actually see here's all the tokens that are supported um, inside the wallet. Um, and we'll continue to grow, grow this. This will, this will continue to grow. Uh, the list will continue to, to, to go out. So so soon that the wallet will have an update for NFT hold. We'll be able to do the NFTs. It's not going to be on the first release of NFTs, though. Or NFTs will not be held in here on the first release. Yeah, Quant, obviously Quant for sure. Yeah, we talked about Quant. Quant, Quant definitely will be added to there. I got, uh, you know, we got the pure, I got the pure wallet on my phone right here. Yeah, I'm gonna log, let me log in here real quick. I'll show you that the iOS is uh, ready to rock and roll almost. We're getting there, it's on iOS right here. I don't have anything added to it, but you can see it's it's right there. The, the, the dark mode is coming soon, man. Now I know that was a lot to take in. That's why I'm just gonna have to make some more videos. I'm super excited. 
that Awesome Austin did a live stream for us. I tried to clip as much stuff in there as I could to get some information for y'all in this video, but don't forget to check out his live stream. Like I said, that link is in the description box below, so go check it out. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this video if you found any of this information valuable. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.